and welcome along this is virtual farmer and getting a strong start to your farm makes a big difference in how it develops into a virtual farming empire and many things can help you put your best foot forward as you begin your farming life so here are five tips i've learned to get the best start in farming simulator 25. a tractor is the first purchase you'll need to make for your farm and you'll need to get the most horsepower to the least money and thankfully bargains can be found in the used sales for example, here, we've got a Vultra T-Series available straight off the bat. And I can come in and I can customize this. This has some glorious pink wheels on it and is a nice white setup. But we are saving a huge amount. You need to watch out, though. Sometimes you get an extra option on. But the front three point here is actually a really good addition. So we are going to buy this tractor and this will be our first tractor for our farm. Don't worry though, if there isn't a tractor available when you start, you can just go in and restart the game several times until something turns up. This is a new game save after all. And then you can get a perfect tractor like our wonderful Vultra here. It's worth keeping an eye on the used sales too. It's a great way to get the equipment from your farm at the best prices. So make sure you check back often. While you wait to get your equipment for the right price, though, leasing as needed is a great way to make your money go further. While you wait to get the equipment at the right price, leasing it as needed is a great way to make your money go further. In the early game, this is especially true of a harvester, which is only used for a short period each year. As a result, we are going to pick ourselves up this class Evion harvester, which will do us pretty well for this first year. So we will lease this, and as you can see here, it's only going to cost us 11551 to lease this piece of kit. Of course, we also need the header to go with this, so we can lease this as well for an extra 2652 And then finally, I want to lease a trailer to go on my tractor to do the carting, and this Rudolph will be perfect. And we can lease this for just 2065 So if you're playing in new farmer mode and you've started off with some equipment, after you've done your first harvest with your combine, you can sell it off. And in fact, this goes for all of your equipment on the farm. The only thing you really need to keep hold of in the early game is a tractor. As a tractor will be doing a huge amount of work on your farm and lease costs for that can rack up fairly quickly. Everything else, though, is used for a very short period of time. And in the early game, you'll be much better off leasing it as you need it. Now that we've got our equipment, we want to find a field that we can go and harvest. And we've got a good set of options down here. Field 3 and Field 5 here are full of wheat and canola, respectively. And both these fields are ready to harvest. And this is what you want to look for when buying a field. You want to buy a field that is ready to harvest so that you don't have to put any extra work into it in order to make your profit. So what you want to do is go over to the farmland tab, click the one you want to buy and buy that field. Yes, we're going to buy this for 107,760. And we're also going to buy field five as well because that is ready to harvest. Now, if you have a field like field four here in the middle that you would also like to buy, the best thing you can do is actually search out contracts on this. Work your way through it. And eventually this should be ready to harvest and get paid for working that field rather than it costing you money to plant it and fertilize it. Once you've harvested your crops, you will want to make the most of them. And the easiest way to do this is by adding a production to your farm. Farming Simulator 25 comes with a great collection of smaller productions, all of which cost about 36,000. And down here, we have an oil mill. So we can take this oil mill and place this just down here next to this little shed. So we'll place this canola into the factory here activate the canola oil and now the canola that we have off our farm that will convert into canola oil if we look at the price of canola which tops out at 1314 and the price of canola oil which tops out at 3571 our conversion rate of 20 canola to 10 oil 
means that we will make a sizable extra profit. And then finally, we have all this extra space down this end here, which we don't really want to go to waste. But there are many other ways we can make extra money. Looking once again in the construction menu, we have greenhouses that will make money for very little cost. So a 27,000 glass greenhouse here only requires water and will output crops that we can then go and sell. In fact, these will output chilies, spring onions, lettuce, cabbage, strawberries, garlic and tomatoes. You can also place a generator such as a wind turbine that will bring you in money on a regular basis or solar panels, which are also a great way to get in extra money with no input. Finally, a low maintenance set of animals like chickens to get you going as well. And a little hen house like this will give you eggs with uh, the only input needing to be a little bit of wheat. So great way to convert your wheat into extra profit as well. And all of these together means that you maximize the space on your land. So what do you think to my five tips to get you the best start in Farming Simulator 25? Let me know in the comments down below. And please share any tips that you have as well to get a good start in the game. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.